them, hey, uh, we're out here again, and we're going to cover the basic system. Absolutely. Okay. This is in regards to the Valor base solar package that is equipped with every Valor that leads here that is not uh, optioned up with the Solar Plus package. It's, uh, it's certainly a more basic package, but it certainly does give you some functionality, and it gives you kind of a starting point that you could use to uh, operate off-grid for shorter periods of time. Uh, it definitely, again, we discussed previously in the other video that things can be upgraded. It can be added to to increase the functionality. Uh, we can certainly discuss that uh, on a more personal basis because the, that's going to vary depending on your needs. But this is going to be a great video to start people off with with their base solar package. Yeah, so we'll just go over the basic components and kind of the capability. And, and like you said, this is a really nice thing because this battery keeps everything charged up uh, on a normal basis. Uh, most of our problems come, stem from having low battery voltage. So there's a with, lot of that with this system uh, your battery is going to run your landing gear and all these 12 volt systems uh, pretty good absolutely so, all right let's get into it sounds good all right Jim let's uh, talk components on this one all right on the Valor base solar package that comes with every unit we have a 40 amp charge controller being charged by or having power run through from the two 320 watt panels on the roof so that gives you a total of 640 of charging watts. And as you can see here, this rover is similar to the rover that's in the Solar Plus package, but this is a 40 amp variant. You can see that's what we're, we're at 13.2. You can see the arrows coming in, going to the battery. It's a very similar display. It's, there's nothing to this thing. It's, it just works all the time. It is connected to the battery directly. And I did say battery. On this package, there is one lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour energy battery and it's connected to it all the time so when you're parked in a storage lot or in your yard these two panels should be able to keep that battery charged with ease okay is this uh is this always here it is not always here on previous uh models or earlier models it was be mount it would have been mounted in the basement pass-through compartment and it would have been accessed from the door side of the coach open up that compartment door and it'll be looking right at you at one of the carpeted walls We've relocated it so that it's up here and it's closer to the battery and now you're able to look at that and look at your batteries and have it all in one area and it doesn't get bumped in the uh, baggage compartment there as, okay. as frequently. All right now I've seen some of them there they, they look a little shorter and uh, this compartment it's a, the same thing it's just a yep. just, we're just using uh, as parts become available just yep. different models. That's right there were some that are equipped with the solar uh, the Rover Elite uh, that was also a 40 amp controller okay. and it worked in the same fashion as what you're seeing here. Gotcha. Okay, so let's move Mo on down Moving here. on down. Okay. Again, we have the battery that I mentioned. There's your Renogy 100 amp hour battery. Here is the fuse. In this case, it's a 40 amp fuse from the solar charge controller that we just talked about. So that's what this little cube is going directly to the battery. Back there, again, we have a battery shunt and that is to monitor all the power going in and out of the battery and that works in conjunction with the battery monitor that's inside and we'll touch on in a few minutes directly from the battery it goes to the battery cutoff switch so when you want it when you're in storage and you want everything off your refrigerators off you want to turn that battery disconnect to the off position the solar will still keep the battery maintained everything will continue to stay charged while it's in storage waiting for you to use it again after the battery disconnect, we come over here to the stack of mini breakers. These operate some of your various heavier duty systems, slides, tank heaters, etc. What, what is a mini breaker, Jim? A mini breaker is one of these little cubes. They're gray plastic and have two posts. And what it is is an automatic resetting circuit breaker. So if you were to exceed, for example, in this case, 20 amps worth of draw, this would separate and break like a, f a circuit breaker in a house, but instead of having to manually reset it, these will automatically reset. If that draw continues to happen, it will continue to trip that breaker, but there's no further uh, operation that you need to do in order to reset it. Okay, and a mini breaker basically just heats up with more amps and then it, it opens. It opens, and then breaking the circuit. As it cools down, it closes. Exactly. And lets current flow again. Absolutely, that's so. exactly it. Nice. So okay. from here. Now I noticed that uh, there's uh, 
cables aren't quite as beefy in here. Yep, the cables are smaller on this system simply just because there is no inverter in the system. There is no 110 available when boondocking through the system. We highlight all the 12 volt features of the coach instead. And the also the solar controller cables are smaller because again, they're running at a lower amp rate than on the solar plus package. Does the 40 amp controller in this and the 60 amp controller in the Absolutely. Other, other model? Gotcha. Absolutely. Okay, well let's go check it out inside and see what the controls look like. Sounds good, thanks. Okay, Jim, while we're inside the coach, uh, why don't we see what's, uh, talk about what's in here. All right, first of all, we've got our battery monitor. This is the same battery monitor that's shared with the Solar Plus package, works in the same way. But okay. to recap how this works, is this is simply gives you data right now and calculated data going forward of how, what the current status of your coach. Let's talk about this one specifically. Currently, our batteries are at 13.2 volts and our solar panels are putting 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.7 volts in from the panels. Again, we're not plugged into shore power right now, otherwise that number would be a lot larger. This is, we're, we're boondocking now or, or mimicking boondocking, so this is what we're able to put in at the moment. We're boondocking in the parking lot. Indeed we yeah. are. So we have fairly overcast skies at the moment here, so our charge rate is a little lower than we'd like it if it was in Arizona, for example. But with these two numbers, these are the only real hard numbers involved with this system. Everything else is calculated based off of a setting that we, we calculate into this thing, or we set on this thing. And in this case, it would be 100 amp hour battery. So this 34 amp hours is what's remaining of the 100 capable in the coach. And as you can see, because it's got a 100 amp hour battery, 34 amp hours equals 34%. So it'll say 100 amp hours up here and 100% what's it, full. Exactly. And this number, we're looking for this number to be between 14.1 and 14.5 volts when fully charged. So if you're seeing a discrepancy between, if this is saying 14.3 and this is saying 38%, trust this, it needs to be recalibrated, which is very easy to do by when it's fully charged between 14.1 and 14.5 and this amperage reading is plus or minus one amp or less. So the closer to zero, the better. If you were to press and hold this right arrow, for three seconds, it'll then recalibrate the system to say, hey, this is our fully charged state. And again, that goes for the, the Solar Plus package as well. It's the same unit. And periodically, it's not a bad idea to recalibrate your system when you achieve those two conditions. Again, 14.1 to 14.5, plus or minus one amp, closer to zero, the more accurate it is. Really topped off. Absolutely. That means you are, you are absolutely full. The BMSs have shut down and not allow any more juice to power them or to charge those batteries. Right. From here, we've got... 41 this number that's fluctuating is the number of watts going in at the moment and as you can see here this number is the amount of hours remaining at this particular amount of time remaining at this particular set of conditions at that given moment that's why this is always fluctuating when this is fluctuating so do you say is this saying 23 21 hours 21 hours and two minutes in two minutes okay unlike night it's not minutes you know exactly you're in seconds it's correct. hours and, and minutes, minutes left you are going to see this fluctuate a lot depending on the state of charge depending on what the current is coming in and the voltage so and and how much you're, you're drawing out of the system so that's going to fluctuate a lot the really the biggest pieces of information you need to see are these two and of course this is fine if you want to pay attention at a quick glance as to if it's charging or not or what state you're in right. notice that this panel is flashing not flashing is fading in and out gradually fade into full backlit and then out that's good that just simply means it's telling you that it is charging at that moment if this goes into the negative where you're drawing more than you're charging and you're in a net negative it will stop strobing and the panel will become not backlit anymore at that point so just just no light at all no light at all this okay. is normal operation when charging this is what you want to see uh, if okay. you get hard strobe on, hard strobe off, then you get a situation where there may be a fault and it requires a little further in, uh, you know, consideration of what's going on. The, the, the Renogy manual that will be tagged in the bottom of this video will have information as to how to read that and what to make of that information. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the converter and breaker panel. This is very similar to a paradigm system. We have shore power coming in here on the 50 amp breakers. This is the only breaker that's gonna have a bridge across both, both individual breakers, and this is the main. This is where your generator power is coming in, this is where your shore power is coming in, and then powering every one of these circuits. It's also then powering through the converter 
every one of these 12 volt DC circuits. So when you're plugged into shore power, your shore power through the converter is powering your 12 volt as well. It's not necessarily drawing from your battery. When you are boondocking, none of this is live. None of these circuits are active. There's no inverter on this coach as we mentioned. So we're relying on what's available in the 12 volt world. And on this, the Valor base package here that we're talking about, we bring a fair amount to the table in the 12 volt world. Our refrigerator, as an example, is 12 volt. Both the televisions in the bedroom and in the garage are 12 volt. The water heater can be run on 12 volt. The furnace can run on 12 volt. All the lighting's on 12 volt. So you have a fair amount of functionality uh, in just running off of 12 volt and then the, uh, the panels and solar charger that are charging it. So this is kind of a, a starting point. And if you decided to expand further, you certainly could. Uh, depending on what you wanted to do, we would change how you go about doing that. And we could certainly discuss that on an individual basis, as I mentioned earlier. The panel here is labeled in a very similar manner as other panels from Alliance. Again, we have the circuits with what they are, their amperage, the size wire that it is, and the color wire it is, and the number that's printed on that wire. So this gives you, or a technician, easily uh, the ability to easily identify what wires or what circuit they're dealing with when they see a wire where they're working. It helps with, certainly with diagnostics, with repairs, in addition to that, modifications that many customers like to uh, perform. Okay, and, and this one has a converter in the panel. The converter is right behind this vented area. It is part of this, and it, uh, it is simply a circuit board back there with a cooling fan. There is a fan here. You will hear that fan turn on and off as needed. Same on the Paradigm, right? V exactly yeah. the same on the Paradigm, no difference. And this has a 75 amp uh, converter to it. Uh, some of them will have 60 amp, depending on the scenario. Nice, and what does the converter do for us? The converter converts 110 AC to 12 volt DC. It charges our batteries. In addition to that, it also runs the 12 volt aspects of the coach while plugged into shore power. When not plugged into shore power, it draws from the batteries and powers these same bank of circuits. So all these, this 12 volt fuses along here, and this is the kitchen slide, so that's, which includes your, in this case, your, um, really your refrigerator. Your refrigerator and the lighting and the, and the in lighting, there. yeah. So this is the, really the fuse for the refrigerator from the panel. Is it? I believe actually it runs off of a mini breaker in the front. Oh, it does have one. It does too. have. There's okay. a mini breaker in, on that stack of mini yeah, breakers that we spoke there's of. There's not one listed. Right. So no. in this case, there are I some believe differences. there are some differences, and, and different yeah. different units have. We've made some changes as we've gone along, so not every one is identical. So please take this as kind of a general overview of this Valor base package. Yours may vary slightly, but the overall concept is the same, and uh, I hope this is very yeah. beneficial for what you need inside here. There's, yeah. not, there's not a whole lot for you to do. You can just simply monitor your battery level. It's a great you know, base starter package for people who are wanting to just dabble in boondocking or wanting to drive their coaches for a while uh, and keep the refrigerator running. Instead of having an LP and 12 volt refrigerator, we have a full 12 volt refrigerator that gives a lot of the functionality of a residential refrigerator without it being having a need for an inverter in this situation yeah and the, the valors this this model doesn't have an inverter at all it does not have an inverter at all it doesn't really need one it certainly could be added by a customer later on down the road depending on what their needs are so does that mean that the only way i can run my uh 110 uh appliances, appliances and loads here is to be plugged into Shore power, shore power or to be running a generator. Or run a, generator. A, lot, a lot of folks who are just beginning boondocking have a generator, and that's very, very useful. It'll give you full functionality of the coach, and any one of our coaches can be had with that. Right. All right, Jim. Well, it looks like we're done with that one. We nailed it. Yeah, so that's a basic overview of the standard Valor solar and battery package, and uh, hopefully this uh, kind of answers those questions for you. Uh, and again, the manuals for this should be linked in the video below. And if you got any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to the team here at Alliance. In addition to that, please join the Alliance Facebook page. 
All the other various Facebook pages in, in regards to Alliance, they are not run by us, but there's a lot of great information out there. There's a lot of great people out there helping each other. There's a lot of knowledge out there amongst the family that they love sharing. So the, we use that as a great resource. And again, as he said, there will be the manuals underneath. And uh, you can always reach out to us at the Alliance Service Department. And hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you the next time. Have a great day. Thanks, bud.